Hey guys, Drew here for Z Code System coming to you with our latest video here on YouTube. And we're going to talk about the UEFA Champions League quarterfinals, which kick off this week on Tuesday and again on Wednesday. We're going to have two games on Tuesday night. Uh, that's April the 5th and two games on April the 6th, the following night, Wednesday night, as we whittle down the biggest club soccer tournament in the world uh, down to, well, four teams coming up for the semifinals. But of course, these quarterfinals are two-legged series and they're going to be uh, four massive games coming up uh, this week and again the next week when we have the return legs. Okay, so we're going to talk about these games. I'm going to give you my picks for the four games. We're going to look at the Soccer Buddy app as well. And before we do that, though, let's take a look really quickly at the odds on the teams to win the Champions League tournament. Okay, so I'm using my favorite online sports book, and that is Bet365. And as you can see there, we have the odds on the teams to win the Champions League tournament. Now, we have Man City, who have been the favorites throughout. They are still the favorites, according to Bet365 at plus 187. And uh, City are flying high, still first place in the Premier League. And uh, yeah, they go into the game or into the last eight as the favorites. They're going to be taking on Atletico Madrid in the last eight. And you can see there Atletico Madrid is plus 2,500 to win the Champions League. This is a bit of a different Atletico Madrid than we've seen in previous years. Not quite as defensive as uh, they have been previously under Diego Simeone. Liverpool plus 200 to pick up the Champions League trophy. They won it last back in 2019. Uh, the year before they won the Premier League in 2020. And uh, Liverpool flying high right now, battling City for the Premier League title. They've already won the Carabao Cup this season, the uh, English League Cup, uh, also uh, goes by that name. Uh, and they can still win the FA Cup as well, as can Man City. And uh, they can also win the Champions League. They can win four trophies this year. Uh, they're plus 200. They're going to be playing Benfica, who, as you can see, there are the longest odds to win the Champions League at plus 20,000. Benfica, the weakest team left in the tournament, and to be honest, um, just squeezed past Ajax in the round of 16. Um, not uh, the best team left here in the tournament. And that brings us to Bayern Munich plus 300. Uh, Bayern winning the Champions League in 2020. And this is a very strong team with Robert Lewandowski, who is a fantastic goal scorer, as we all know. Um, but there are some chinks in the armor there of Bayern Munich, uh, a few defensive issues that uh, they might need to iron out before they get to the final. Uh, they're going to be taking on Villarreal, a very tricky fixture, uh, two-legged series coming up for them. Villarreal surprising many by getting past Juventus in the last 16. This is a very good team under the management of Unai Emery, former Arsenal and Sevilla manager. He won three Europa Leagues there at Sevilla and last season led Villarreal to their first ever European trophy by winning the Europa League. Now, Chelsea are plus 1,200 to win the Champions League. They've got a very difficult fixture coming up with Real Madrid, who are at plus 1,400. And uh, that is a very interesting tie because we know that Chelsea, who are under the ownership of Roman Abramovich, uh, they are uh, having a bit of uh, internal turmoil due to the fact that uh, they are Russian owned and uh, there are some different restrictions going on there in uh, West London for Chelsea. So uh, those could uh, have an effect on the team there in the quarterfinals and if they get past that, the semifinals. All right, so that is the odds for the teams here left in the Champions League to win outright. Let's take a look at those games coming up this week on Tuesday and Wednesday. Okay, so here is our Soccer Buddy app. As you can see there, I've already got it set up for uh, the fifth, that's Tuesday night in the Champions League. We've got our hot trends on. We'll see if we get any hot trends. We don't have any hot trends popping up, but we've got two games here. We've got Liverpool going to Lisbon to play Benfica, the Estadio de Luz, and we've got uh, Manchester City hosting Atletico Madrid at the Itahad Stadium in Manchester. Let's take a look at that Liverpool game first, playing Benfica. Liverpool on a great run of form right now. Uh, they're coming off of a win over the weekend uh, on Saturday. They defeated Watford 2-0 uh, uh, in a game there at Anfield and we've got a score prediction of 2-1 to one, Liverpool and Benfica Liverpool picking up the win I'm going to go against this yes I'm going to pick Liverpool to win this game but I do not I do not see Benfica scoring Liverpool's defense is just too good and I think they're going to keep a clean sheet in this game I'm going Liverpool to win to nil in this game 
And uh, yeah, we need to see if Liverpool can really get that attack going. Mohamed Salah has been a little bit cold lately. He's coming off of um, a disappointing World Cup qualifying campaign in which Egypt failed to make it to the uh, World Cup for later this year. Uh, Sadio Mane, watch out for him. He's just led Senegal to the World Cup, uh, defeating Egypt in a playoff. And uh, he was rested for the most part on Saturday against Watford. He could start against Benfica. We could also see Luis Diaz getting a start there. I think Liverpool are going to take this game a win to nil. Now let's look at that Atletico Madrid-Manchester City game. Manchester City, very good team. Of course, we all know this. They don't have necessarily a central striker to do all the scoring. It's kind of spread out. And they're going to be taking on Atletico Madrid. Now, if this game was, uh, the first leg was in Atletico or at Atletico, uh, I would really be backing this team to pick up some kind of a result here, a draw or a win, uh, most likely a draw, uh, because of that home crowd and the way that uh, Simeone is able to build an us versus them mentality. However, I can't see. Atletico picking up any kind of points here or picking up a draw against Manchester City at the Etihad. I don't think Simeone's team is that great in attack. Personally, I don't think that uh, he sets them out to go out and win games. And I think this is going to be a bit of a struggle for them playing against a very high octane Manchester City. Atletico Madrid struggled with Liverpool when they played in the group stage of the Champions League. Yes, they defeated Manchester United in the round of 16. Uh, but they did have their troubles playing at home against Manchester United. Uh, I think City are going to win this game 2-1. I'm not even sure if Atletico can get it on the goal sheet or should, could get on the scoring sheet, but it should be noted that Ruben Diaz, defender for Manchester City, will be missing uh, for this game due to injury. Again, I'm picking Manchester City to win this game. All right, let's take a look at the Wednesday night fixtures as we continue with the Champions League, and we can see there we've got Bayern Munich and Villarreal playing at the Estadio de la Ceramica in Villarreal, and then we've got Chelsea hosting Real Madrid at Stamford Bridge. All right, going with that Bayern Munich versus Villarreal game, I think that's a, that's a great scoreline prediction, 2-1 there. Uh, Bayern Munich should edge Villarreal in this game. I think Villarreal are really good and going to be underrated going into this game, and if Bayern aren't careful, they can get picked off. Uh, Villarreal showed against Juventus in the previous round that they can play some good defense, and get goals when necessary. But I'm going to go Bayern Munich on this game, and I do like that score prediction of 2-1. Now, looking at that Real Madrid versus Chelsea game, I got to go completely against this because I don't think Chelsea are going to be able to win this game. Real Madrid, uh, they were down at one point in the previous round on aggregate 2-0 to Paris Saint-Germain, a team that lots of people thought were going to win this tournament because of Lionel Messi and Neymar and Kylian Mbappe. But Real Madrid came back in the second half of that game from 2-0 down on aggregate to winning 3-2 on aggregate, thanks to three fantastic goals from Karim, Karim Benzema. And I think Real Madrid are going to defeat Chelsea in West London and go back to Madrid with the lead for the second leg. So I'm going Real Madrid to win this game. And I wouldn't be surprised to see Real Madrid pick up a 2-0 or 2-1 victory over Chelsea in this game. And um, you know what? I think Benzema is going to get on the score sheet for this game for Real Madrid. And again, Real Madrid to win away from home against Chelsea. All right, guys. So those are my predictions for or my picks for the Champions League quarterfinals coming up. And as you can see here, we've gone through it with the Soccer Buddy tool to help come up with a few of these ideas and flush out a few things. Now, this is one of the great tools at Zcode System. And you have the opportunity to sign up today and to get this tool this app to use every time you want to bet on soccer, uh, whether it be the Champions League or the Premier League, the Bundesliga, whichever league it is, if, maybe even if you want to bet on the Japanese J League, you've got this tool to help you out. All you have to do is sign up to Zcode System today and you can use the Soccer Buddy tool and you can use the VIP wall as well and communicate with all of the different users on Zcode System and, of course, use the expert systems that we have here on Zcode System. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me today. Let me know down in the comments below who you think is going to win the Champions League this season and who you're putting your money behind. I'm, you know, unfortunately, well, I shouldn't say unfortunately, I'm a Liverpool supporter, so I'm backing Liverpool to win this tournament. Uh, but you know what? You shouldn't always bet on your uh, your favorites. Uh, you know, but that's just what I'm doing because, well, I'm a Liverpool supporter. All right, guys, have a great time this weekend or this week, I should say, watching the Champions League. And we'll see you next time here on here on Z Code System. Again, let us know what you think. Like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, we'll see you soon here on Z Code System.